What is up everybody? It is Life's Apprentice. This is part three of our little video series here with Clint um, with Tread Lightly Services and Tread Lightly Dumpsters. Um, today we're going to talk about um, the 16 foot or 16K um, Nedlands trailer versus this is a 12K and a 10 foot trailer um, that he just picked up. Um, and he's going to start running these little shorty cans. We did um, a video strictly about this trailer. Um, I will link that at the end. If uh, if you guys didn't see that, you can go and watch that. I see the other truck is running. We're just going to wait for the noise, and then we'll get back to the trailers here. All right, well, um, Gabe just came back with the dumpster. But uh, here is the Nedlands 10-footer 12K GVWR. And here's a 16K GVWR. And we're gonna go over some of the subtle differences because I've never seen one of these and I think it's interesting. Um, this trailer is 11 years old and this trailer is about seven or eight years old. We'll go over some of the differences. Um, we showed you some of the components of the 10 footer in another video, check that out. And then we're gonna talk about the differences um, with this 16K. So. One other thing, the reeving system and the cable and everything like that is all the same except for these side cylinders are, you said, 4 inch versus 3 inch. You have a 4 inch cylinder and on the, on the 12K I have a 3 inch cylinder. Yep, yep. And then um, obviously the length is different. Um, for us to pull on the shorty containers, we flip these up and the shorty containers hit into here. I believe that's standard on all Nedlands. Um, trailers and this is for our 14 foot dumpsters um, one thing I'm noticing here you have a step um, right here and you can see on the 10 footer um, there is not a step there I don't know if that's standard now um, but that's a difference that I'm noticing the tarper is different but this is optional um, our tarper the arms are a little bit longer obviously um, and ours is automatic, which can easily be added to this. Um, the motor, that's a 9 horsepower. This is a 13. I'm sure if you ask uh, Nedlands to give you a 13 versus a 9, they would do it, um, obviously at extra cost. The front jack and all the hookups and everything are identical on both trailers. Um, so really up front, the only difference is the motor, and I'm not sure if that really matters. It really doesn't. Uh, from what I understand, they'll give you a 13 horse now. Maybe they just went 13 horse across the board, at least on their specs. It says that on all the trailers. Um, this is how they started out with this 12K trailer. And then obviously as the need grew, they started building 16, 20s, 24. They, I can't even believe that you can haul that much on one of these, but you probably can. Um, there's really not a lot of difference. The baby trailer is built just as heavy duty, just on a smaller scale as the big boy trailers. Um, it just comes down to what your end goal is. For us, we're going to start back up with these small little dumpsters and really serve that market. Um, but I don't think this is any less than a trailer. It's just built a little more compact and smaller. There is some differences, like you said, 3-inch versus 4-inch um, cylinders, obviously, because you don't need 4-inch cylinders to lift 10,000 pounds or 12,000 pounds. You need them to lift 16,000. Um, right. Tires are a big difference. Now, I don't know, that's that's probably not factory. These are 18-ply or 16-ply, I don't remember. We were looking, we think they're 18. Yep. Um, and these are 10-ply. But I would bet you money that these don't come factory on um, the Nedlands trailer if you were to buy it brand new. These are probably aftermarkets, would be my guess. Yeah, more um, the bearing system and everything like that is all identical. Um, the only difference here is tires, and that's really your option. Um, I recommend that you go with the 16 or 18 plies. They are more expensive, but they're going to hold up better. They're going to be better with weight. Um, the other thing here, we have a step here, and the taillight bumps out a little bit further here um, than his. I don't know if that's new or old. Never fails. Every time. <laughs> Other differences in the trailer, there's a step here. Um, there's not a step here, so your taillights are um, pushed back a little further. But in comparison to the end of the rail and where the taillight is, um, your this one actually sticks further 
um, out than that one, even though that one is extended past the wheel further. Um, another thing that we noticed was these rear tie downs, um, which we don't use, but might be a DOT issue um, if you were to get pulled over. Um, this trailer has them. This trailer does not. As far as lighting and everything, I can see zero difference. Um, the light's super high quality. Um, obviously, the entire trailer is super high quality. And uh, we just wanted to show you guys a little bit of the differences between the two. Um, I know that these are an option. This is a niche type business. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> if you're looking to get into the business, this is a good way to start. Um, having these little short dumpsters like this um, can be super profitable and not a whole lot of other people are offering them. Um, so depending on your market and your area, I think that this is an opportunity um, that you guys can get in um, and make a name for yourself as, you know, like you were saying, like little dumpsters or, mm -hmm. you know, there's there's other guys out there doing that and, and just killing it. Um, and I think it's just a really, really cool trailer. I've never seen one. It's an alternative to dump trailers. You know, a dump trailer, some guys are renting, especially down south, they're renting dump trailers. The problem is theft can be really big. I mean, you can put all these locks on stuff. It's still got wheels. If they want it bad enough, they're going to take it. This is a lot harder to steal. You actually have to have this setup or, or yep. something very close to mess with this, to steal this. Now, I'm not saying it can't be stolen, but it's a lot it's less a likely. Lot, it's a lot. There's a lot more steps involved um, to try to walk off with one of these. Uh, this is more of the size of a dump trailer. Uh, yeah. And yeah. This, you're kind of hitting that same market, but instead of buying another $10,000 trailer, you're buying a four or $5,000 can. And, and that's yep. just the other option. Market. The other thing about this first dump trailers. You have one trailer that can move every single can. You aren't hooking and unhooking. Um, you have one registration. You have four tires, not four tires per container. Um, the, the other thing, and if I was a customer and I ordered a dumpster thinking it was a roll off and somebody came up and showed me a dump trailer, well, now I have to step up two feet to get my junk into a junk trailer or a dump trailer. Here, you have less than a foot. Um, very easy it's an eight inch step up um, with the doors open you can walk stuff right in there um, also this same can on a dump trailer to load from the side is going to be two or three feet taller so it's going to make it a lot more difficult for the customer and thinking from a customer's standpoint i would much rather have this than anything else and you guys you can say that they're safer for the driveway that's true if you do not take the proper precautions. Um, if you put boards underneath the wheels and boards underneath the front, this thing will never ever touch the driveway. Um, so there's ways around all of that. I think for customers and marketing and just about every aspect of the business branding, um, this is a better way to go. And I think when people see this, it's something that they're not super um, used to seeing. They're used to seeing you know the big 20 and 30 and 40 yarders when they see something like this they see you know i don't have that much junk that's exactly what i need and they're going to call you because essentially you and myself in my market are the only ones offering Absolutely. 10 yards you know you're really marketing to the very metropolitan areas of people where they have a single car driveway or they have no driveway you know they're in the alley or something like that they say hey can you put it in this little grass area i've got they don't have the room for maybe a 20 footer or something 10 footer absolutely they could get that done but they still got to get their project done they still have to say hey i want to do this bathroom model and i can't rent the, you know i can't rent this xyz uh, you know 30 yard dumpster what do you have you know we have something that'll fit and people people really resonate with that and they, they, yeah. they like that it's easier on their driveways obviously we all know that um, then uh, you know 60,000 pound truck and a can and a bowl and everything like that this is a lot lighter duty setup and it, and it fits where they don't yep yep all right well a little comparison video there's really not a whole lot of difference between these two trailers um, the main difference is going to be the size of the trailer um, and this trailer can do things uh, I should say the 16k trailer can do things that this trailer cannot um, that's really the main difference that we can haul the 14 foot dumpsters 
Um, so this one is a little bit limited in that aspect. Um, but if you're getting into this business and creating a niche in your area, um, this might be all that you need. Um, where he got this trailer from, that's all this guy did was 10 yards, short 10 yards um, in the Detroit area. And he had 30 cans, 85 uh, 10 yard cans, and he just branched out into 50. Yeah. So he's proof. Um, he's proof that it can be done. Um, he created a, a, an entire business just solely based off these shorty dumpsters, um, which is awesome. So, moral of the story, Nedlands, super high quality. Um, they make amazing stuff. They're far, light years ahead of the competition. A little bit of a comparison video. Obviously, guys, we're not trying to knock your equipment. Um, we're just trying to show you true, good quality um, firsthand um, with experience I've been running these trailers a couple of them for a while yes they have issues just like anything else you know you have hydraulic lines and cylinders and things that could possibly break but as far as the overall quality of Nedlands it is second to none um, and if you guys have you know PJs and max D's and stuff like out uh, out there I'm not I'm not dissing your equipment we're just showing you the differences in quality and uh, just want to put that out there for you guys. Um, if you like this video, um, leave a thumbs up. If you have questions for me or Clint, um, leave them down in the comments down below. We will be uh, happy to answer. And then uh, subscribe if you haven't. We will see you on the next one.